In this video, I'm gonna quickly go over the four different types of life insurance. Let's get started. Hey there, this is Patrick King with Prana Wealth. On this channel, we help you build your wealth faster so you can make work optional sooner. So if you're new here, please consider subscribing. If you've ever shopped for a life insurance policy, you'll quickly realize that selecting the right type of policy can become overwhelming. To anyone who isn't an insurance salesperson, the differences and details can be really confusing. In the hopes of clearing things up, let's go over the four different types of life insurance. Number one, term life insurance. Term life insurance is the cheapest, easiest, and simplest type of insurance policy. Not coincidentally, it's also the type of insurance that fits most people's needs. How does it work? Simply put, you select the length of the policy, its term, and the amount of the insurance. Over the term, you pay a fixed premium. Once the term is over, the policy expires. There's no cash value that accumulates. If you die during the term of the policy, your beneficiaries receive the policy death benefit. And that's it. It's pretty simple, right? Well, that's the point. So with that in mind, let's move on to our next type. Number two, whole life insurance. Whole life insurance is intended to insure someone for, well, their whole life. It's called permanent insurance, which means that it's designed so that the person can't outlive the policy. Whole life is the oldest type of life insurance. How does it work? You select the death benefit amount and pay the premiums for the rest of your life. You build up a cash value that doesn't go away or expire, and you can surrender the policy and get the cash value back. If you die, your beneficiaries receive the death benefit of the policy. Paying premiums for the rest of your life sounds like a long time, right? Well, quite often, the policy dividends can become large enough such that the policy starts paying for itself at some point. So in practice, most people don't end up paying premiums right up until they die. Aside from the ability to take a loan against the cash value of the policy, whole life does not offer much flexibility in what you can change or modify once the policy is in place. That's why our next type of policy was created. Number three, universal life insurance. In order to address some of the flexibility issues associated with whole life, universal life was created. Universal life is intended to cover the insured for his or her entire life, just like whole life. Well, how does it work? It works almost exactly like a whole life policy. The difference is that additional flexibility is created by adding a few new features. In a universal life policy, you can modify the death benefit and premium payments over time. So if your insurance needs change in the future, this type of policy has the flexibility to change with you. Of course, added features come with a cost. The premiums on these policies increase over time, so making sure that they're properly funded in the early years is key. These policies can collapse when the cash value goes to zero, often catching the policy owners by surprise. But over time, people wanted a product with even more options. And that brings us to our final type of life insurance. Number four, variable universal life. Variable universal life insurance takes the idea of the universal life policy and creates more flexibility around the cash value. Specifically, it gives you the option to choose how your cash value is invested. Why would you want to choose different investments for your cash value? Some people want a bigger return than the fixed or guaranteed dividend rates found in whole life or universal life policies. However, risk and return are forever related. Along with investments that have the potential for higher returns come the risk of losing value. Variable policies can sometimes get into big trouble when their cash values decline with their investments. Unlike whole life and universal life, variable universal life policies do not allow you to take a loan against the cash value. Loans would be a big risk to the insurance company if the cash value dropped below the value of the loan. So how do you choose between the different types of life insurance? Assuming you actually need a life insurance policy in the first place, 
deciding between the different types of policies can be overwhelming. If you find yourself in this position, always come back to the idea that insurance only exists to hedge against the specific risk. In most cases, term insurance fits the bill. The financial risks of dying tend to decline for most people over time. However, permanent insurance such as whole, universal, and variable universal policies tend to pay a larger commission to the salesperson. Always take a moment and ask yourself what you actually need. Remember, you can't hedge the world. If you need help figuring out what type of policy best fits your needs, or if you even need life insurance at all, please visit us at pranawealth.com to see if we are potentially a good fit. As a fee-only financial advisor in Atlanta, we can and do work virtually with clients all across the U.S. And we do still have capacity to take on new clients this year. In the past, we've helped plenty of clients make decisions about life insurance, and we're here to help you when you need us. Hey, if you found this video helpful, please help me grow my channel by liking this video and subscribing. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you soon.